Hi Internet, I'm Lichwick and it's time to go pick up that haunted key that the ghost singer Norwegian lady had left for us. In the uh, face of adversity, always walk towards the light. Spooky ghost, I, the power of Christ compels you to not touch me or do anything. Even, what is this? Oh, Selena again. Give me a sec. I want to read this first. From Selena to William, except number one. Dearest William, you wanted to know more about me. Last time I didn't tell you everything. This letter will make up for this. When I arrive in California in 1930, I am only 18. Hmm. <laughs> only eight. That sounds like a familiar story. Just young girl trying to make it to Los Angeles to make her dreams as a singer or an actress. Whatever she was, but she ended up as a singer, I'm sure. This is a marvelous place, and the weather is so nice. I spent hours on the beach, astonished to see how brown my Norwegian skin can become. Oh, oh, oh for a second there I was like, she's, she's a brown Norwegian? And then I got it, she's trying to tan herself. Anyway, moving on. In the evening, I hear it near the jazz clubs. In the afternoon, I watch people play on the beach, humming the tunes I heard the night before. Sometimes I try to sing louder than the waves. That's a good exercise. My English is quickly improving thanks to American songs I already knew in Oslo. At the time, I am barely aware of the social misery that is devouring your country. That's... that's a little bleak. I am young, I want to be beautiful to meet people my age and to sing. Yeah. In Los Angeles at the Spice Club, I meet the members of the jazz band. They are talented and funny. <clears throat> oh, this is killing my voice. We play all night, I forget about the hour and about my parents. They even call the police. At the end of the night, the musicians tell me they are looking for a singer and that they want me. I can hardly believe it. Have you ever felt that you finally belong somewhere? It feels fantastic. I'm, I'm worried about Selena. I, she, I mean, she's a foreign girl in a foreign land. I don't want anyone who taking taking advantage of poor Norwegian singer girl and clearly she's She's the one ghost I'm supposed to be helping, because she's the only one bathed in light, and the other ones are fuzzy-faced and scary. Okay. Give us an invitation, but to which world? We good? We good? No ghost? Okay. 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 I'm getting the hell out of here. Wait a minute. Do I want to go through the door in there? Or I'm going to check out the box, because the box is in light. All right, in the uh, in the light, in the light. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. For a second, I was worried there, but we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Small opening for a key. Use the key. Hmm. Does the key not fit? All right. Also, why is that clock going? I didn't count how many times it, it rang, but now I'm worried. Okay, so if it doesn't work on the box, maybe it'll work on the door. Maybe this is the kitchen key? No, because the kitchen key's in the library, so it has to open the library, but I'm gonna... Against my better judgment, I'm going to enter the darkness again and try and see if it opens up the other Venus door. I wonder if that door has its the room it enters into written down above it. Okay. Ooh, can I? I can't. Okay. It doesn't say. Blocked from the other side? Oh, okay, so I must have to use it on the. Wait, that's not where the Venus door was. Where's the Venus door? Was there another one over here? No. Here it is. Oh, oh crap. Don't scare me. Please don't scare me. Okay, okay. I was worried that I was just going to be, like, waking up to ghost in my face. Okay, let's try this door. I can't see anything in there. Hello? Oh, this is the other room! Uh, um... Not to say... Uh-oh, sneeze coming on! <coughs> I'm back. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this is. Note to self, Mother's Shadows. Mother's Shadows will never go away. I understand it now. Calling them ghosts would still be too noble. It is a filth that strives in the dark like flies on manure. As long as I am alive, they will never go away. 
Okay, so this isn't the butler, this is the child? What the hell kind of kid talks like this? How old is he? Maybe he's not a kid when he writes this kind of stuff? I wonder where, what happened to all these people. I mean, I'm sure we'll find out. Ooh, pictures. I'm sure we'll find out in a bit. Oh, wedding photo. Oh, no. Oh, I think I know who our spooky ghost is. It's the, it's, it's Margaret. It would, yeah, no. That's Margaret. And Henry, maybe Margaret was just crazy and they, they weren't any ghosts, but she became a ghost. Who would hang a picture of a headless woman on the wall? What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to move the camera around so I can see said headless woman. Oh, it's because it doesn't reach all the way to the top, or maybe the picture's too tall for the frame, and you decided not to move her head in? Margaret Vesper, nay, venture cross, a woman as noble as, what? A woman as noble as cold. Oh, someone left their shoe. high heel shoe, maybe its owner was still around here. So, the person who came in is not a creepy man, but m perhaps a creepy woman? Oh, another photo. Margaret and Henry Vesper, two strangers pretending to be married. Put that... Ooh. Um. Hello? Where is she? Where is she right now? What? What? Where's the camera moving? Oh god, no, 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 I don't want to be left in the dark with her. Where is she? Where'd she go? Also, look at that camera. Vesper Incorporated. Vesper's Legacy, a gift from the past elected best company of the year. Uh-oh. And this is good old Boston, the home of the bean and the cod, where the Lowells talk only to Cabots, and the Cabots talk only to God. Jeez, 1930s seems like a horrible place. To... No, 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 get away, get away, I don't want you, go away. Can you follow me in here? Where are you? Are you still here? I don't want anything. Okay. Margaret? Margaret, is everything okay? I found your shoe! Margaret? Are you gonna try to hurt me again? Hello? F okay. Margaret? Is everything okay? Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 I don't want. Get away, get away. Okay, so, okay, so, okay, okay. That's, that's not as scary as I thought. She's just not gonna let me pass yet until I figure out how to. Exercise ghosts. Okay. That's fine. I guess we'll just try use the key on this door. I ac I always accidentally use that match matches. I'm gonna run out of matches before I'm gonna have to play this game in the dark. Oh crud. I need more matches. Alright. So I'm gonna save real quick because I'm getting worried. Also, if I save, I could I could probably investigate Margaret without fear. Yes, yes. Because if I die, then I can just go back to the save and everything will be just. I'm gonna cheat this game out of everything. Okay. Margaret. Margaret. You come down from the ceiling now, young woman. I mean, uh, you woman, just woman. Oh, oh, oh! Hey, Margaret, I found your diary. <clears throat> Margaret's diary, except nineteen. And this is good old Boston, the home of the bean and the co what? I just read this. She just—you plagiarized this from a business card of the factory. You can't even come up with your own speech. Oh, you mean your own toast? Of Boston Toast by John Collins, Boston, Boston, Brahmins, and... Oh, no. Oh, okay. No, you just wrote it down and you've attributed... Never mind, you're not a plagiarist. You attributed it to the writers. Okay, never mind, we're good. You're not a thief of intellectual property. I have my beef with you. Alright, let's see what you do. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, it's... Who... What? Who am I? Who is she? Okay. Okay, so Ghost does kill me. Okay, restart from last save. Okay, so Margaret doesn't seem like a very nice woman. Uh, we're not gonna bother her. In fact, I'm just... I'm just gonna see if this library can work. Yep! Okay, key to the library so we can get the key to the kitchen. But where's the door to the kitchen? Okay, so Margaret's probably still skulking around in that hallway over there. Oh, music. It's books, books, books everywhere. I mean, it is a library, so that may... Wait, where's the news thing? Here it is. Victim of the crisis, October 19th, 1934. The body of a 40-year-old man was found yesterday morning in the Burns Industrial Area. According to the police, the death was the result of severe malnutrition coupled with massive alcohol ingestion. He is the fourth person to be found dead as a result of starvation this week in the neighborhood, where many factories have closed and the unemployment rate reaches 60%. Wow! I mean, that was... that's the depression. The authorities seem unable to face the malnutrition and alcohol is alcoholism issues, and the community itself can't take over from the official institutions to face the crisis. The government doesn't seem to have the power to save its own citizens, or maybe it doesn't want to. Maybe it doesn't, because it's been bought out by the corporations. History does move in cycles. Um, I can't move past this thing? No? Alright. Oh, here's a photo. Gash portraits were not my favorite decoration. Well, I wasn't looking for that. I'm looking for this. This is what I wanted. Yes. Mmm. The mother of men. My mother, you will allow me to be a man. This is... Oh, no. How did... How did her face get upside down like that? Um. Please don't be a ghost behind me when I exit. No. Okay. 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Oh, there's a knife. Maria? What's wrong with Maria? Although disturbing, the knife had a role to play in that tragedy. Maria. Maria Francis M. Callan? Well, hold on. It clearly wasn't art, just the fantasy of a murder. Francis M. Calhoun? Calhoun? I don't... I don't know. I'll probably get that later. Can we take the knife? No? I don't, I don't, this is good audio, I guess, because I don't like it. I, stop, the camera work in this game is all kinds of wonky. I want you to, there we go. Note to self, she's suing me. Her voice is harassing me, blaming me and insulting me because I was not the heir she wanted so much. Margaret even, Margaret is even more harmful in death, and because I am her son, she has always possessed the keys to my mind. I am desperate. How am I supposed to keep a dead person at bay? So she is the ghost. I mean, that was that was kind of obvious. That's a. Let's see, which which book has Maria or Irina Virginia? Three graves, three names: Maria, Irina, Virginia. All right. So let's see which. Ooh, alchemy. That's not, that's not the Philosopher's Stone arrangement, exactly, but it does have the three bases and the four uh, basic elements. Hmm. I wonder what that symbol in the middle is, I can't really tell. Oh, William! William Vesper's Diary, except number one. June 18th, 1932. In alchemy, the second of four cycles leading to the incarnation of the mind of the, in the great work, the Philosopher's Stone, is called white work, albedo leucosis. During this phase, the alchemist cleans the matter he has been dissolving and charring for years in a renewed cycle with water he has distilled three times. This is the time of the moon and the purification of matter by femininity. The water the alchemist obtain is called alkahest, the universal solvent, the elixir of longevity that, the, that puts an end to the little work. Despite my research, I have not been able to acquire a genuine alkahest. This could be the ultimate cure. The elixir that can save my life. I don't give a damn about eternity. I just want peace. I have bought some materials. Tonight, I will begin my journey towards the great work. I hope to reach the albedo. But this path is very long and very dark. Hmm. 
Alright, I'm running out of time for this episode, so I'm gonna try and find the key. Oh, here's Virginia. She was also... she was stabbed in the eye. Something sharp caused a split. And I needed the same tool. Virginia, Francis M. Callum. Okay, so Francis M. must be the one who's drawing these portraits. Here's Maria. I mean, Irina. This one is not quite in the eye, but it's similar. Irina, strange sound feeling caught me when I watched that stare. Seems alright to me. Oh, light. Rotten material again. I had to find the source of that problem. Well, I mean, we could probably just plug it in. What the hell? Who lays a wire like this? Uh. Oh, what's this? Oh, bugs. Eww. Oh! My leg was hurting. It was better not to finish it off. What? What are you... Oh, you were talking... Okay, so I can't climb the ladder. Let's see. Oh, another Margaret. Margaret's Diary, Excerpt 1. Ooh, the first of Margaret. December 8th, 1895. It's 4 a.m. and I can't get to sleep. Father is still yelling in his room. Since his delivery company closed, his debts are getting worse and worse, and so are his anxiety attacks. At night, he almost sounds like a beast. They say something in his blood drove him crazy. They say it runs in the family. It's linked to the kids. I could... I don't understand. Mother doesn't want to explain. Sarah doesn't either. I could get whipped, she says. We don't talk about these things in your house. I threatened to hit her. I yelled at her, but she didn't tell me anything. They are treating me like a child. I'm 15. I'm a Venture Cross, a Boston Brahmin. I have a right to know when it comes to my family. Sorry, she was 15, so I figured I'd just go with it. <laughs> Probably didn't talk like that in Depression-era 15-year-olds. Oh, have we already been here? And the books on the ground aren't useful, so... I'm gonna follow this cable. No thanks, we're not here. We don't want any, go away. So we just gotta plug this in. I could go back to the light or open this door. I'm gonna go back to the light. Wait a minute, there's two light switches. What? Where does this one go? Also, skull candle? Ooh. Skull cracked under the blade. I wanted to vomit. It's just a skull, man. It'll be fine. Also, it doesn't have a hole in it? Whoever did this clearly has real issues with women. Um. Well, I mean, I didn't find the key to the kitchen, but we found it. Ooh. We found a knife. Ah! <gasps> uh! Okay. Um, I just killed a ghost. A landlord has crates full delivered to him. Okay. Uh, I don't want to read that. Oh. Oh, there's the key. Oh, that means I can move. Okay, so that's going to be the end of the episode. Oh, I just picked it up. What if, what if somebody attacks me? I mean, I have the light here. The light will keep me safe. Um. And until then, everyone should try to stay safe. If you like what you see, be sure to leave a comment or a like. Subscribe if you if you if you in are inclined to. But um, until then, everyone should try to survive the night. And good night. I'm gonna make my way back to that chair and come back in a bit. <laughs>